For me, at least, one of the most exciting elements of motion pictures has always been the cinema's ability to take us to places we've never been before. Now, that can be an exotic city, a different country, or even a different era. After all, movies can take us backward or even forward in time. But perhaps the most difficult journey of all for filmmakers to get right is to take us inside a character's head. And when that character happens to be a creative genius, well, the filmmaker's road is fraught with all sorts of perils. The new movie called Seraphine, which is based on the real life of painter Seraphine de Senlis, is an amazing achievement in just about every way. First and foremost, because it manages to avoid that huge pothole that so many biographies of great artists fall into. Seraphine, who lived from 1864 to 1942, was a troubled and in some ways tortured individual who turned to painting as her only form of expression. What the movie mercifully does not do is try to literally explain her genius. We never see that a particular incident in her life caused her to create a certain painting, for example. And we are never shown some childhood trauma via a flashback that's supposed to explain her painful, crippling shyness. The movie has the intelligence to show us a genius at work without being so condescending as to say, yes, this moment explains her. This is why she's a great artist. No. Seraphine is a great film because it understands that there's a mystical, inexplicable element to creativity on a certain level, and it celebrates the beauty of that. We have all the biopics we'll ever need to try to show us famous artists' alleged aha moments, movies that have trivialized Michelangelo to Van Gogh to Toulouse-Lautrec. But here, at last, is a celebration of the mystery of human genius and how it can sometimes thrive despite being born into the most hostile environments possible. Winner of seven French Oscars, including Best Picture of the Year and Best Actress for the incredible performance of Yolanda Moreau, you can find out more about the DFT's presentation of Seraphine at our website, dia.org slash DFT. I'm Elliot Wilhelm.